Have you ever had the sensation that a cement truck is passing by your house? You haven't imagined anything. What you felt was one of the hundreds of tremors that Cyprus experiences annually. And like the dinosaurs, the Ice Age and the Deep Sea, the subject of earthquakes occupies a place of fascination for many, probably because of its apparent mystery and danger. Kyriakos Solomi, head of the seismology section of the Cyprus Geological Survey Department, is a man who can dispel all of the popular myths about earthquakes, but his scientific stance does not make them any less fascinating. The pyramid is the most undecisimic structure of the world. It's been living there for 6,000 years and it has suffered uh, deterioration, wind erosion, uh, weather erosion and is still there. The most notable seismic threat for Cyprus probably comes from what is known as the rather poetic-sounding Cyprian Arc. Put simply, local quakes and tremors are caused by the African continent moving northwards, colliding with the Eurasian and Anatolian plates deep beneath the Earth's surface. But there is little cause for alarm. Cyprus is not highly earthquake-prone. Solomi explains. Greece and Turkey are the most prone. Cyprus is much less. The seismic hazard in Cyprus is almost uh, one tenth of what uh, is in, in, in uh, Greece and, uh, and Turkey. Cyprus is uh, divided into three seismic zones. The coastal zone, which is the most uh, uh, seismic and reactive. The, the central Mesa area, which is the Nicosia, is the second one, and uh, the mountainous area, Trodos and Pectadactylo, which is uh, the third one, and the less, uh, 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 with the less seismic hazard. The last earthquake of any magnitude in Paphos occurred in 1995, registering at 5.9. Seven stations placed strategically around the island record seismic activity 24 hours a day. Data is continuously monitored, analysed and then sent to the European Mediterranean Seismological Centre in France, where it is displayed on a website. But not everything recorded by the stations is related to earthquakes. Sometimes you get noise there, human noise, which human noise could be either uh, explosions, either uh, 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 construction activity, could be uh, human-made explosions due to quarry or mining, or to explosions caused to illegal uh, fishing. Returning to that concrete truck feeling, how common is this in Cyprus? Generally, we record local earthquakes around 500 every year, which are in and around Cyprus. Out of these uh, 500 earthquakes, which range between a magnitude of 1.5 to 5, uh, 10 are felt by humans. Detection of seismic activity is highly sophisticated, and no, Solomi says Cyprus is not due for a big earthquake any time soon. I can tell you that earthquakes in Cyprus, they, they occur in decades and not in years. So in the last decade, we had three earthquakes, which is more or less, I could say, a rare phenomenon. An emergency response network is in place across Cyprus in the event of a serious incident, although Solomi is adamant that earthquakes are normally not dangerous in themselves. I can tell you that the earthquake is not a dangerous thing for the human people. The earthquake is a dangerous thing when there is a combination of the humans with the, with the structures or with the works of the humans. When there is this combination, then the earthquake is dangerous. Uh, what is dangerous is also the after effects, the fire and the tsunami. I've always heard that in an earthquake, the safest place inside a house is in a door frame. Is that right? Yes, it was right uh, 30 or 40 years ago. But now today that most of the buildings are reinforced, wherever you are standing, you are safe. But uh, much better is the corner. Kyriakos Solomi has dedicated his life to the study of geology and seismology. What is it about the Earth's processes which have held his curiosity for so many years? It is a fascinating job and uh, uh, because there are a lot of, uh, of uh, 
uh, an accent things and uh, uh, this is uh, a challenge uh, to give answers to things that uh, are not very well understood. And if we don't have earthquakes then we have a dead planet and which nobody wants.